My name is Jennifer. This is Metatron is speaking. I have a message today that started off being from Ra. So I'm going to go over that with you. So I asked him if he wanted to channel and he said, beloved. And I could feel energy coming from behind him. His energy is like a sun radiating from behind him. He says, the earth spins on its axis, circling the sun. The sun gives it warmth, stability in the cosmos. It gives earth life. He, the sun, adores her, the earth. He wants to give her everything and watch her grow. He knows if he comes too close, she will be destroyed. If he stays too far away, she will freeze. He must have balance, moderation, control. You, humanity, are the earth. I am the sun. So I asked him because I could feel the energy changing. I said, you speak from the perspective of the creator. And he says, yes. And so I ask him what he wants me to call him since he's not truly just raw. And he says, I am. In my Christian days, this was my favorite name for God. So I am shows me that he must have discipline and control over his power in order to execute delicate, fine tasks properly. So I asked him, did you always have control like this? He says, no. I asked him, did you learn moderation and control by being incarnated? He says, yes. He says, in the time it takes you to write this sentence, I will have gone back in time and changed your future. So I clarified, humanity's future? And he says, yes. And I asked him if we are jumping another timeline. And he said, yes, the future is ever changing, just as the past is ever changing. The present is the only true moment. What you do now changes both the past and the future. This is hard to understand because your world treats time as linear. But time is occurring simultaneously. You can change what has been and you can change what will be. I want you all to continue making choices in your best interests. As you do, you unravel damage and choices from your past, and the past changes. I interrupted him and I said, you're talking about undoing karma. And he says, yes. You change your karma, you change your past which changes the future. Each person has their own timeline, their own reality, their own past and future, but it is tied to the overall outcome of the planet. Your timeline is based on your frequency. Your frequency determines which dimension you are in which reality you experience, which limitations are in place. Earth has been tied into a narrow range of dimensions and therefore realities for a long time. The range now is growing and will be extensive over time. A duplicate Earth will be created across higher dimensions as enough ascend 
to that vibration. This is new earth. The earth you are on now is the one that contains vibrations zero to four. The new earth you are building will contain dimensions five, six, and seven. I am shows me that there will be duplicate versions of everyone on both planets. A 3D version of me left on this earth and a 5D version of me on new earth. I am says, if you want to know how to use this information, then meditate on it. Let me show each of you what you should do. And I asked him, do you want me to meditate for this information too? And he says, yes. And I told him, I hate meditating. <laughs> and he says, discipline will separate you from others who are less spiritually mature. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> He says, I know you want answers. I know I will see you there. And he smiles at me. And I said, there is some kind of gift there waiting for those who meditate, isn't there? And he smiles. So I said, show me. <laughs> and I feel his love energy. He shows me a glowing earth, about the size of a grapefruit. He spins it, and I see it turn into paradise with plants and animals. I asked him, is it some kind of key to 5D earth? And he says, no, not a key, a pathway, a fast-moving track. So I asked, what if I meditate and I don't see or hear anything? Did I still receive this gift? And he says, yes, you will know. His eyes are soft and kind and almost sparkling. When I meditate, I see three pyramids. I see some colors and then I end up falling asleep. The next day, I asked him if I received the gift, and he said yes, and he shows me what it is. It's this pair of sneakers that are silver, iridescent, and they have these wings on the side of the sneakers. And he lets me know it's, this is the gift that everyone will receive if they choose to meditate and ask for this gift, whether they see something or not in their meditation. And the gift, the purpose of it, is to give us a swift pathway. So whatever pathway we choose in this incarnation, it's to help us get there easily. So if you would like this gift from Creator, the next time you meditate, just Acknowledge that you would like to receive this gift, and whether you see it or not, you will have this gift from him. Until next time, see you all later. Bye-bye.